The first thing that I noticed with this product is that the box it comes in is incredibly unique. Instead of using a, some kind of generic cardboard, they have actually printed an illustration of the SNES on the sides, top, and bottom of the box. I really appreciate this little detail and it sure does look cool when you put it up on your shelf. The Super Pie Case is a Raspberry Pi enclosure created by Retroflag in the style of the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Unlike other cases that use laser cut acrylic or 3D printing, this case uses very high quality mold injected ABS plastic along with two custom PCBs. The eject button opens a compartment where the cartridge slot would otherwise be and instead features a space to store additional SD cards, possibly perhaps for different builds of Linux. The overall build quality is exceptionally good with a sturdy high quality feeling plastic and faithfully recreated features to the original console it's modeled after. The cartridge itself is a facade which can be opened and provide additional storage for SD cards or possibly also USB dongles and flash drives. It has been specifically engineered for the Raspberry Pi 3B+. However, it can also house the 3B, the 2B, and the 1B+, which all have the same physical input and output configuration. For this build, I decided to include two SN30 Pro Bluetooth gamepads by 8-Bit Doe. Although this is a review for the Super Pi case, I also highly recommend this controller for its retro design and compatibility with modern and retro games with its twin analog sticks and dual triggers. Access to the Ethernet port and two additional USB ports are provided by a breakaway door on the left side of the unit. The cartridge is held in place with two magnets, which really need to be much stronger, and there should be two of them, so it doesn't swivel in the center and it stays in place on the top of the unit. I applied the two included thermal heat sinks to the CPU and USB Ethernet chip, so it stays cool during heavy load. 
you especially need to use the heat sinks and a fan as well if you're planning to increase the clock speed of the CPU. Thankfully, the Super Pi provides plenty of room for ventilation as well as space for a fan. The front PCB provides a convenient fan header for powering an optional 30mm 5V cooling fan so they can blow hot air out of the exhaust vent in the bottom of the case. Unlike other SNES-styled Raspberry Pi cases, this one is particularly unique in that it has a fully functional power and reset switches, as well as a power LED indicating light, and two front-facing USB ports, where the controllers would otherwise be plugged in. My final verdict of this case is that it is overall an excellent product that I would highly recommend to anyone looking for a quality Raspberry Pi 3 case. The only thing that could improve it is compatibility with the Raspberry Pi 4, which would require major alterations to the mold, which would be an entirely new product altogether. The other factor to consider is nostalgia. The SNES was a little bit before my time. I grew up with the N64 and PS1, so this may be a product more for people who want to feel nostalgic for the Super Nintendo. My own personal dream device would be a Raspberry Pi 4 shell modeled after the original PlayStation. So retro flag, if you're hearing this, please consider this as a future product. 
If you want to purchase a Super Pie case, I have provided a link to their online shop in the description. Of course, no factory reset build would be complete without a matching case to hold everything together. This Amazon Basic case was built for the Nintendo Super NES Classic Edition, but it fits the dimensions of the Super Pi perfectly, as well as the SN30 controllers. The matching color scheme gives it the perfect way to keep the Super Pi nice and safe for storage and travel. <laughs> 